the present video is uh, part 3 of the operation amplifier applications and is based on the switching applications like uh, comparators, detectors, Schmidt triggers etc. In these applications uh, the output uh, switches between the positive and negative situation voltages and uh, these are the voltages which are applied as a power supply to the operation amplifier so since the output goes to the saturation so it is either positive saturation or the negative saturation nonlinear applications uh, uh, which I have already uh, talked about the shapes of the input and the output signals are different. Even here also in the case of uh, switching applications here the input and output uh, wave shapes are different, different so they also come under the category of nonlinear uh, applications of the operation amplifiers and uh, these switching applications which we'll talk about they'll uh, uh, we'll talk about the comparator Schmidt triggers and uh, other similar circuits in this category. The applications for these uh, circuits are like uh, in wave generation, uh, in multi vibrators and in A to D converters. These have been typical applications of uh, uh, these uh, uh, circuits. Now we will describe uh, uh, these circuits one by one. First we will talk about the voltage comparator. This is uh, basically uh, an analog comparator, voltage comparator. It compares the voltages which are applied to the non-inverting and the inverting terminals here. This particular circuit is uh, the circuit for the non-inverting uh, voltage comparator and uh, since VI is uh, put at the non-inverting terminal this is also sometimes called as a zero crossing detector. Actually uh, the inverting terminal is grounded so if the VI input is little more than uh, the ground potential the op amp goes into saturation so uh, we can take a typical example here suppose uh, what is the VI minimum which is needed to bring the transient to, uh, into op amp to saturation is this is a plus minus V saturation values divided by A is the open loop gain. So uh, plus minus 14. Normally the supply voltage uh, which is put in here is normally 15 volts and uh, the actual uh, voltage available is about 1 volt less. So it is uh, plus minus 14 volts. So mm -hmm. plus minus 14 divided by 100,000 comes out to be about 14.14 millivolts. So even a small signal of uh, 0.14 millivolt will drive the operation amplifier into saturation and that is why the transfer characteristic is shown here. When the input voltage is uh, above this value it goes to positive saturation and if it is negative then it goes to the negative saturation value. Now the other uh, 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 voltage comparator is inverting comparator here you know, VI is uh, put at the inverting terminal and uh, here uh, the uh, positive voltage uh, here will produce uh, minus V saturation as being indicated by this uh, transfer characteristics in this particular circuit. The third, of, third type of circuit uh, is a circuit where uh, uh, comparator with a non-zero reference because these circuits have been with the zero reference uh, levels and now there you can make a comparator with the non-zero reference. You have to use a suitable uh, potential divider network uh, uh, to uh, get a desired uh, reference voltage. Uh, reference voltage here is like derived here by the combination of these R1 and R2s and V reference is R2 the voltage here R2 over R1 plus R2 into VCC is the DC voltage applied here. Uh, 
this so this is the corresponding transfer characteristics in this case uh, it is not uh, taking a transition at uh, zero volts it is acting it is at a reference voltage set by this uh, r1 and r2 network here now if you want to set a negative uh, reference instead of plus vcc you can apply a, a negative supply minus v to the circuit and you can get a negative reference voltages. Now the other important circuit uh, in this category is the Schmidt trigger circuit. So we'll talk about the Schmidt trigger circuit. Uh, this circuit, uh, uh, what we observe here, uh, if a, we use a comparator and if the input noise is uh, large uh, in the comparator, then it gives an erratic output and this can be eliminated by using comparator with positive feedback or comparator with hysteresis. So it provides two trip points here and eliminates the false transitions to occur. So we'll see the circuit for a uh, inverting uh, kind of Schmidt trigger. This, uh, uh, this is simple circuit here. Uh, here uh, the feedback is done at the positive terminal and uh, input is at the inverting terminal and uh, if VI the input here this VI input is less than the V1 value the V1 then V0 is at uh, plus V saturation value so if you move along this this remains at plus V saturation value and remains there till the input is V1 and once the input reaches V1 it takes the transitions and goes to minus V situation. The value uh, of V1 is selected from this uh, potential divider network that R1 by R2 into Vsat and uh, this point we call that the upper trip point UTP where the transition has taken place and uh, beta is called a feedback fraction uh, here in the circuit so V1 we call as UTP, so B, beta uh, V saturation and similarly V2 is a value called a lower trip point that is minus B V saturation and the hysteresis is said to be UTP minus LTP and that is twice beta into V saturation. So this is a simple uh, relation uh, for this uh, inverting time of uh, type of Schmidt trigger. Uh, some some of the important points here to note are like uh, the current through voltage divider network is uh, selected much higher than op amp uh, input bias currents so actually the current through these uh, networks here like r1 and r2 wherever we select an r1 r2 network the value for uh, the current should be much larger than the input bias current and uh, different UDP and LT points are obtained using diodes. If we can uh, use uh, uh, diodes uh, in the feedback path, you can get uh, different operating uh, voltages for UTP and LTP and they could uh, be different as well. Now, uh, this is the, says to be the hysteresis uh, kind of characteristics of this operation amplifier and this is a very important part of this uh, Schmidt trigger. Now uh, we'll see uh, the circuit like here. So we have seen the inverting kind of Schmidt trigger. Now we'll see non-inverting kind of Schmidt trigger. Here uh, input is at uh, inverting terminal. That's why it says set. Uh, input is uh, at a non-inverting terminal. Uh, that's why it's said to be non-inverting Schmidt trigger. And uh, what we observe here, so this circuit. Uh, uh, the first sight looks like a uh, like an inverting amplifier, but uh, you have to very carefully notice that this circuit, the feedback is at a positive terminal, while in normal inverting amplifier it is at the negative point. So you should uh, distinguish that way. So it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, this circuit for the inverting amplifier. Now uh, we'll try to see and analyze. Uh, uh, this circuit. Uh, what we observe here is uh, VI uh, we select to this uh, upper trip point 
and uh, we presume we presume that uh, v not has just switched to plus v saturation that means when vi is uh, made a utp it has switched switching uh, takes place to plus v saturation and when the switching takes place to plus v saturation what we observe here the voltage g here which was at a ground potential uh, this voltage would also be pulled up and to maintain the value of v saturation to switch output to minus v saturation what we observe is this g voltage has to be pulled down and that could be done when you apply uh, at the input ltp then the v naught would be switched to minus v saturation so what we observe here again you see this is the input to the schmidt trigger sinusoidal input what we observe whenever the uh, utp point comes this is switching to positive v saturation and it remains there until the ltp point comes again when ltp point comes it uh, switches to minus v saturation and so on so this is a curve so what we observe here the vr1 vr1 here the voltage here is i to r1 i to the current same current will be flowing here so vi would be utp equals to ltp and uh, shall to be equal to i to r i to r1 i to r1 so vr2 we can uh, write vi2 is i to r2 vi2 is i to r2 through this network and the same current is flowing into this this is uh, equals to vsat or we can write i2 we can find out i2 is vsat over r2 so we can determine the value of utp and utp and ltp point ltp points this i to r1 this is minus i to r1 so this gives us uh, v set r1 by r2 and minus v set r1 by r2 so these are the utp and ltp point for non inverting schmidt trigger circuit now uh, uh, this circuit can be designed uh, for different utp and ltp using diodes in here that we said in the earlier circuit uh, that uh, we can design here and take uh, uh, different UTPs and LTPs here. Okay, now the last circuit here uh, is on the window comparator. This is one of the uh, uh, very important uh, circuits uh, in the comparators. And if you have uh, studied timer, you will notice that a similar circuit is being used uh, in the triple five timer. So this is a window comparator or double-ended uh, limit detector. That means uh, this is the circuit uh, uh, which uh, uh, detects the window of the voltage and it gives a certain uh, voltage level for that window. So it detects when input voltage is between the two limits uh, called window. So we'll see that uh, we have taken an example here when VI is uh, less than 3 volts. Uh, we observe here with this uh, circuit uh, this is basically uh, having two comparators put together and uh, what we observe when VI is uh, uh, less than 3 volt when it is less than 3 volt this is a VI then A1 amplifier will be has a positive output and A2 will have a negative output this A2 will have a negative output and uh, because uh, D1 would be on since this is a negative output so it will be, this would be off so output would be high okay and when vi is uh, greater than 4 volts again a1 has a negative output and a2 will have uh, a positive output so d1 is off and d2 is on again output is high so output would be high when vi is uh, outside the range like uh, less than 3 volts or greater than 4 volts now we'll see what happens when vi is between uh, 3 to 4 volts uh, uh, we observe here uh, between 3 and 4 A1 has a negative output and A2 also has a negative output and D1 and D2 both are off and the output would be low here we get a low output so this is the output characteristic here which says that uh, only in this uh, window region uh, the output is low otherwise it is high you can design uh, uh, the circuit uh, with a high output between these limits there is no problem you can design a circuit where it will be high uh, within these limits otherwise it will be low 
So, window detector, uh, window compressed circuit is one of the very important uh, circuit, and I presume this could be a circuit which could be asked uh, in maybe coming gate examinations. Okay, thank you.